This video will cover the topic, Using Trigonometry to Find a Length in a Word Problem with Two Right Triangles. Before we begin, let's review some of the fundamental trigonometric identities. Say we have a right triangle with angle theta. We know that sine of theta equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse, cosine theta equals the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse, and tangent theta equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. So we will need to know these identities in order to solve word problems. We will. Using these identities, we can solve word problems in which we are given two triangles and are asked to find a certain length. Let's take a look at an example problem. Looking up, Ryan sees two hot air balloons in the sky as shown. He determines that the lower hot air balloon is 425 meters away at an angle of 31 degrees from the vertical. The higher hot air balloon is 560 meters away at an angle of 43 degrees from the vertical. How much higher is the balloon on the right than the balloon on the left? In order to solve this problem, which sides do you think we need to find? Well, since we need to focus on the height of the air balloons, we should find the length of the vertical sides, right? That's right. We're asked to find how much higher the balloon on the right is than the balloon on the left. In other words, we want to find the difference between the heights of the two balloons. So if we label the height of the left balloon H1 and the height of the right balloon H2, we can say that the difference in height is H2 minus H1. To solve this problem, we will need to find both H1 and H2. We can split the figure into two right triangles. Let's start with the triangle on the left. We know the angle, the length of the hypotenuse, and we want to find the length of the adjacent side. That means we can use the cosine equation, right? That's right. We can substitute in our known values and solve for h1. We see that the height of the left balloon is 364.3 meters. Next, we'll take a look at the triangle on the right. Again, we know the angle, the length of the hypotenuse, and we want to find the length of the adjacent side. We can set up another cosine equation and substitute in our known values. When we solve for h2, we see that the height of the right balloon is 409.6 meters. We can now calculate the difference in the heights of the balloons. This tells us that the balloon on the right is 45.3 meters higher than the balloon on the left. Okay. So, in a word problem with two right triangles, we will need to split the triangles apart and determine which trig equation we can use to find the missing sides. Using these lengths, we will be able to determine the final solution. That's exactly right. Great work!